Hiya, it's Sam. I thought I would do, as the world is topsy-turvy at the moment anyway, why not? A Halloween makeup tutorial, one of my favourite times of the year, and to be fair, it's coming up. It'll be in a few months' time. Um, as you might have seen from my last uh, fashion haul and um, video when I was eating the sweets, um, I've got a massive obsession with all things Tim Burton inspired. So this is my usual hair, obviously. Um, obviously because it's got blonde in it and normally Tim Burton characters have got dark hair, I thought I'd go for the grey route. So this has just been achieved by using <laughs> dry shampoo that hasn't been brushed out and um, just made curly and pinned up. I also used this that I've also reviewed, which was the um, Beard and the Wonderful Lemongrass Beard Wax on my beard just to flatten it out and on my eyebrows. This is not makeup makeup, this is theatrical makeup. This is grease paint. So I'm gonna be using this, these products. So let's see, let's see how it goes. I'm not the best at doing it, but I'm gonna have a go. And it'll be funny. It'll be funny to watch. Maybe funny. You can decide. Right, I'm just gonna start by doing the white base. I'll try and do this as quickly as I can. Like I say, I'm not the best at doing this, but I just thought it would be hilarious. The theme with Tim Burton is always the dark eyes and the wild hair. I've got, I don't know if anyone's bought um, or seen any of his, his art that he does, but every film he does is based on his look and his music by uh, Danny Elfman and his art, which is absolutely awesome. It's, it's, um, yeah, right, well, okay. This might be a bit of a rush job, but let's just, let's just imagine it's Halloween and we have, we have, you, you've got to get an outfit. You've just been invited out to do fancy dress and you want to do it in 15 minutes. Right, well, this is what you do. You stick your hair up, you wax some face paint on and it's not very well applied, but it doesn't matter because that's the look we're going for. That's what we're going to say. Right, back. And then to complete the outfit, we have the shirt behind me, which is going to look quite cool, I think. Um, yeah, so how is everyone today? It's another hot, warm day, spring day in um, England. But yeah, thank you for, um, if you've already subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it. I've um, got an idea for another video actually I might do next whilst I'm doing this. It involves a black sticky substance that you put on toast. And the massive hint is, it's not the Australian version. Yeah. Anyway, that's gonna be a potential video. Right. How is that looking? This makeup is actually quite ancient. I won't lie. I've used it many times. But like I say, this is gonna be a quick makeup tutorial for someone that is Tim Burton-esque, a little bit dead looking. And um, yeah, right. Now we've got a sort of white base. I'm just gonna to touch up with this other white just to make sure it's nicely applied because it is quite, oh, that's much better. Yeah, because I, I don't know if you know, but um, when you use white makeup or any sort of makeup after a while, I suppose it goes out of date, doesn't it? But um, on a budget, so I'm gonna stick to what I'm using for now for the rough and ready look. This is the sort of makeup that I do when I do zombie makeup at Halloween as well. I just do the white makeup and I use, um, I haven't got it out, but I use the um, late, liquid latex and then Peel bits of my face hanging off and use lots of blood, lots of fake blood, which is always good. Who doesn't love Halloween though? It's quite fun, isn't it? For dressing up and just for being random. And why not just do the things in lockdown that you enjoy doing throughout the year? If your favourite time's Christmas, get the decks out! <laughs> God, my teeth look yellow when you put the white on. Right, okay. Let's try it with the black. We're gonna use a black, different sponge, don't wanna make that one dirty. 
I've just got some water down here, some warm water in a pot. And now I'm going to put the black eyes. The thing is, you don't want it to look pandery, that's always my problem. I love that kind of like effect where it comes down like that. And in fact, I might play on that. What I put on the um, eyebrows, like I told you, was um, the stuff that I used for the beard wax just to keep it flat. I noticed on things like um, RuPaul's Drag Race and stuff like that, they use, um, I think they use like a glue stick to put their eyebrows and stuff down, which I found quite useful, but um, I haven't got that to hand. So I thought I would do this. Right, let's just get the white back on. This is going to be fun. Quick, I'm trying to make it as quick as I can for you guys. Sorry about this. <laughs> it's not particularly going very well today, but then you can decide if it looks Tim Burton-y enough. So yeah, I'm going to go for dark eyes, white mouth. So this is going to be a cross between like Edward Scissorhands mixed with Corpse Bride, I think, and um, Nightmare Before Christmas, that kind of thing. If you don't already know, if the hair falls down, Leave it, looks good. Right, okay, so this is this is basically quite good makeup to do for um, Halloween, if that's kind of your theme. All right, now I'm gonna work with my, let's have some, let's have some green. Let's have some green, some green, shall we? Hope you're finding this entertaining. <laughs> right. This makeup brush had a little bit of um, another colour on it, so it's gone a bit darker, but actually that works out okay, because it's gone to like a dark green look. So let's just put some, some, some deftly green, why not? Let's just do some deftly green lines here like this. And then I'm gonna do my cheekbones. But what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to blend it in with the other side of this brush, this sponge. Right. Okay. I hope that looks good, people. What do you think? Now some black lips just to finish the look off. There we go. Mm -hmm. Right, there we go. Okay, what do you think? Okay, now we're gonna put the shirt on and then that'll be done. I'm trying to make it the quickest video in the world for you. So yeah, Tim Burton inspired makeup done in an instant. I'm hoping you find this useful. Um, but yeah, that is not bad, even if I do say so myself. I'm probably gonna keep this on and do a TikTok in it. I'm not gonna lie, because it looks quite cool. And I might just wear it for the whole day. <laughs> Why not? Um, please share, like, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye. P.S. I'm also very well aware that I haven't got makeup on my around here and, and around here. Um, like I say, it's just a quick tutorial video just to show you what I normally do 
Um, it's not advice, it's not guidance, it's just quickly what I do and what I do in a rush. Uh, I normally would spend a lot more time on it and maybe in the future if you like this sort of video I can do a video with a bit more depth to it um, with a brand new makeup kit and something with a bit more um, pizzazz let's say but this is just a rushed makeup oh god you've got a Halloween party to go to within half an hour 15 minutes whack it on and you're done um, but yeah I love this kind of style and I hope that you found this video enjoyable um, yeah see you later bye